Hey, it's Matt from McGee Farms. We've got winter here in northeastern Missouri, and uh, means it gets a little cold on the equipment, so I've got a uh, old dirty uh, golf cart top that I picked up off of Craigslist for 30, 40 bucks. Some 45 degree angle iron and a golf cart windshield. I'm gonna take all that, I put it together, uh, add a little plexiglass, a few other things, and I'm gonna make a cab for one of the tractors that we use in the wintertime quite a bit. So stick around and uh, I'm getting ready to uh, head up to the neighbors and get some welding done. So I went up yesterday, I finally got the uh, top and the frame set up on the tractor. Hopefully you can see it all right. The sun's kind of uh, at that position where no matter where you go, it's kind of kind of putting a glare. But uh, did change a few things around from the original plans on it. Uh, we have the angle iron, which uh, we welded up a frame. I've got actually some pieces that were left over from a uh, garage door we used for uh, mounting to the tractor and to the roof and basically just came up with the angle iron uh, got another piece of this that's uh, hooked into the golf cart top that I got and then we've got one bar going across and then on the other side it's the same thing it's it's hooked in it's uh, not quite symmetrical with the uh, uh, with the bars just because the way the loader controls were if I went out all the way like I wanted to it would have been uh, in the way of the loader controls and I would have been able to work the float because the idea is pretty much to leave this on year round and I'll use it as a sunshade in the summertime uh, probably put a fan mount a fan maybe a radio in there I, I don't know now on the back of it we had some uh, frame parts that were left over. I think I showed them in the uh, uh, last segment of the video. And uh, what we ended up doing was cutting them short so they could bolt into uh, the top, the golf cart tops. They've got like a little area that comes down. And uh, we welded them onto the uh, ROPS, uh, the rollover bar. We did not drill into those. I have seen some people make tops and they drill into those, but that kind of messes with your structural integrity. If you did happen to roll your tractor, uh, hopefully, you know, welding it. I was a little leery about even welding it, to be honest with you, but uh, it shouldn't, shouldn't really mess. It is gonna need to be touched up a little bit with some paint, but as of right now, it's uh, not quite warm enough for the paint to set right. So I'm going to hold off on that. Get a warm day here. I'll probably try to hit that. I uh, want to redo this whole tractor. I started a little bit a few years ago and the, uh, had some engine issues with it. And I uh, want to get back, uh, repaint it, do some body work, little dings here and there, and just fix everything that's wrong with it. Now the next step that we're going to do with this is uh, we're going to do a windshield. And I had a golf cart windshield I picked up too. Originally I was going to put on. But again, because of the loader controls, it just uh, wouldn't work right. So I ended up picking up some uh, plexiglass at uh, Home Depot today. And I'm probably going to have to trim it just a little bit for the windshield as far as the, uh, the back. Uh, I do have a golf cart uh, windshield I'm going to stick on the back. I've had it on there before. Only thing is I am going to have to uh, either take this off or relocate it. Uh, this, if you've uh, used these, they're, they're kind of nice. Uh, you know, everyone talks about how great these uh, these are from BX Expanded. And they, and they work good, but uh, as you can see on mine... You know, it's been on the tractor for two and a half years now, and it's kind of rusty. I probably need to take it off and uh, uh, knock the rust off, give it a, a coat of paint as well. But, you know, it's nice to keep a few tools in on the, uh, in the 
tractor and also uh, my plan was to put a second one on to keep chains in. I uh, found a different one I put on one of my other tractors that took the 50 gallon can and it, it worked pretty good too uh, to keep chains in. It's a little, little more rugged, a little more stout than uh, this one. And uh, also planning on putting some lights, uh, some LEDs on this as well and probably upgrading these in the back as well. So over here, I got my plexiglass. I'm getting ready to take some measurements. Uh, like I said, I'm probably gonna have to cut it down just a hair, not too much. So I've got my uh, circular saw over there. And what I'm gonna do is once I get it set, I'm gonna just drill a couple of holes in it and uh, use some zip ties to go around that frame. So I'm gonna turn the camera off and uh, start taking some measurements and get the windshield ready to go. So I got the plexiglass mounted and like I said, just took some zip ties, I drilled some holes. You gotta be real careful drilling with plexiglass if you ever work with it. Uh, when you drill or when you uh, try to cut it, it's very fragile and it cracks and breaks really easy and it's not cheap. And once it's cracked, it's pretty well useless. So go slow with it for the drilling. I left the uh, little plastic protective pieces on it and just went super slow. I've got it at a couple of different spots up top and on each side. And side so actually worked pretty good. The nice thing about this too is the heat from the engine of the tractor, once you get working, comes right back on you if you've got the uh, the windshield and all so it uh it kind of keeps you warm a little bit i'm gonna look at maybe getting a tarp or uh maybe some of the hd uh, pe panels that i have and in the open space here maybe try to block this off a little bit you got to be able to uh, use the pedal so it's a little hard to be able to do it but i'm gonna see what i can do there also uh as i mentioned once this comes off I'm gonna grab this uh, golf cart windshield and I'm gonna mount it to the back and that'll give me uh, protection from the front and the back where the side's the only thing open. It might even block off one of the sides. I don't, I don't know, but anyway, that's uh, topping a windshield for an open cab tractor. Should work with pretty much any tractor that's got a uh, ROPS on it. If you like the videos, as always, uh, give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. Maybe uh, subscribe to the channel or share it with your friends. It's always appreciated and it does help the channel grow. Till next time, have a great day.